Welcome to Barfall Brigade. I'm Gio. I'm Bartholomew Kwan. And I'm Luke Galvez Jr. the third. Oh, that's or nah. your, real, your name is not Bartholomew, you liar. I wish it was. <laughs> okay. What was it? What were you what was your question? What? <laughs> what the hell? The question was Do you use your gym time efficiently yes. or nah? Hell that's, no I don't. No, why? Nah, I try to. <laughs> you know what sucks though? So, so for me, I, I'm always on a really tight schedule because like uh -huh. as soon as my workout training ends, I only have like 30 minutes to grab lunch, get ready, and get like ready to shoot videos or whatever, uh -huh. right? So for me, it's like constant mo motion. So when I get into the gym, I want to be as efficient as possible with my time. But what ends up happening is I feel so disconnected from everyone that I train with yeah. because it's like I have to get in the zone really quick. I have to warm up really quick. I have to keep my headphones in, not talk to anybody, not get distracted, just get through my program. And then I bounce, but then I feel like, oh, I didn't connect with anyone. Damn. So is that considered efficient or not? Well, I think that's, that is efficient. That's because very efficient. But it's efficient in terms of workflow, but it's not efficient in terms of like social like social but, but but we're at the gym to train like i'm very very inefficient like i'll be like oh what's up like hey how you doing <laughs> and i just start talking to everybody and next thing you know people are like how long have you been here i'm like for like four hours <laughs> yeah because i just get caught up because I, I i have fun with what i'm doing but yeah, yeah. i think it also depends on what your schedule is like and what you need to do you know like I usually like to work out when I don't have any priorities after that way I don't rush it and I make sure I do everything I need to do uh -huh. and so that, that's why I don't like to work out before my shift. You also roll out for two hours too. I, <laughs> I also roll out, I, I do a lot of mobility for a Which long time. I know but it's also I think I could cut it down and be more efficient. Probably. Sometimes I'm just there and I just like lay down. I'm like, oh, this feels good on my back. But that's just sleeping. That's not mobility. <laughs> yeah. How do you feel you can be more efficient then? I, well, I, I I got some headphones, kind of like you, and I'm like I put them on and they're noise canceling, so I'm like I can't hear anything. So all, all I focus is on like the music and what I need to do. And like, I, although I, it sucks because I block everything out, um, I also get things done a lot more quicker, which is really good too. You just gotta find things to do and it also depends on your schedule also. What I do now is um, when I do my main sets, I try not to socialize because usually the main set is the hardest one yeah. and you have actual numbers to hit. So if you get distracted, you might not be able to come back and hit those numbers. Oh, that's smart. But after I hit my main set, then the accessories I can chill. I can chill and do like, you know, yeah. biceps. Or I can That's chill and talk true. to someone and do shoulder Pump with a bro, like. Yeah. But if you're doing like five by five at 80%, it's like you need 100% focus or else you're going to fail the weights. I yeah. don't know why I never thought that because that's like naturally what happens with me. The main set, I, I have to have like caffeine and music in my ears. But then as soon as I go into accessory works, naturally, I just tend to take my headphones yeah. off and I'm just chilling. Yeah. And not until you said it right now, well, that I was just like, oh. Oh. And one other thing I started doing is I started supersetting too. Oh. So if I have like four accessories, instead of doing four complete different exercises, I just do two. Right. And then I just do back to back, knock it out, and then, then I could like, I try to like give myself 15 minutes in the beginning when I drink my coffee uh -huh. and talk to people. That's why I usually come to oh, okay. the front desk. True. Or the, the merch room. I try to <laughs> Who go are you there. pointing at? The people that well, know what he's right talking here. about. Oh. Uh, and I used to try to give myself another like 15 minutes to say bye to people and stuff. <laughs> well, another thing that people don't take into consideration is like uh, whether you're a beginner or like advanced or whatever. I feel like people who are beginners, they need to really focus because they need to learn everything. Because they get distracted. But they don't need to spend too much time in the gym. Yeah. I feel like they need to. Uh, I tell people even just 30 minutes and that's it. Oh. That's true. Because I tell people 30 minutes only because I feel like it's learning how to swim. When you learn how to swim, the first thing you do is learn to get comfortable with the water and that's it. So that's kind of like what you're doing. You need to apply the same thing. You just need to be there for 30 minutes and just do whatever the hell you want uh, and make it easy for yourself, like small goals. Yeah. That's really it. Oh, I didn't even think of that either. And for those of you guys that don't know, Lou is actually a lifeguard, so he actually knows his swimming analogy. I am. Imagine I was guy, a lifeguard. Can you imagine this guy swimming towards you? Cause <laughs> 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 I played water polo too. I was like, what's up? Oh, Jordan. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Jordan played basketball. I want to play basketball. No, but Jordan played basketball. I know. You know but basketball. I was like the water polo Jordan. You were out of the water the whole time. I was gold. In the air. I was like gold. <laughs> gold. Do you guys have any <laughs> techniques for us? Oh fuck. 
<laughs> Water polo. Do you guys have any techniques for how to be more efficient with your time at the gym? Go ahead and write it in the comments below. Make sure to like the video and share it with all of your homies and homets. Do do. Just like, you just quit the competition and run away from home? No! You just run away from home and commit to the competition? No! So what do you do? No. <laughs> well, sometimes I'm just like really tired. You know, and that's when you kind of have to like...